Coffee is important for you in the morning. Don't take it after 12. It will last in your system for up to 10 hours. Uh, wow, I just love the sight of that. Yeah, so from what I gather, contains antioxidants and whatnot. For those of you that are into medicine and the likes, it's supposed that you can tell from the microbiome, the mi come on, you can tell from the microbiomes <laughs> who takes coffee and who doesn't. You're welcome to Amazing Minds. If you're not following the podcast, you can catch the show every Monday and Friday right here on YouTube, 12 p.m. Central African time. And you can listen to the podcast Monday and Friday, Central African time, 12 hours on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Why you like audio podcasts is still a mystery to me. I prefer video. Come rain, come sunshine. Switch my heart and do you will find. It's love for you. All I got is love for you. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no lie I will hold you. Come over. Forever be my lover. Oh my name is now, I hope you've been following the rebuttal series that we've been doing. And we have done Alice Lenshina, um, Adamson Mshala, um, Simon Mwasaka Pwepwe. Who else have we done? Um, we've done quite a number of people so far. And today we are doing <laughs> Captain Solo. Uh, why he was called Captain Solo, I don't know. It seems it was a nickname or something and i don't know whether it came after what he did or before but his actual name was stephen lungu born in 1962 in mansa now here's something you should think about have you noticed how all these guys who tried something funny weren't born in lusaka now oh, that's a joke don't take it too serious so captain solo uh whose real name was stephen lungu attempted a coup in 1997 he was a uh, he was a captain in Zambia army in the 1990s under the presidency of Frederick Chiluba. And he decided that the government was replete with corruption. And so he was the savior, the saving grace of Zambia. Uh, how he gained the confidence to do what he did, we'll never know. Anyway, let's get into it. Number one. One fateful morning, Captain Solo and a group of soldiers he convinced decided to storm uh, an arms depot, uh, a military depot, and they assorted a few military personnel, presumably to arm themselves for the great task ahead. And this reminds me of Lucifer in the Bible, how he convinced himself and a few other angels that he will be like God. Where these guys get the confidence? It's a mystery. And it's supposed that Chilwa was eating conflicts as he watched all this unfold. Because he was so confident nothing would happen. The coup fell not because there was weakness on part of, the, um, of uh, Captain Lungu or my uh, loyal army that time, but because the Lord crushed it. Okay, that's a joke. But anyway, <laughs> where he gained the confidence is still a shocker. But he stormed an arms depot and assorted military personnel, uh, presumably to arm themselves, and they headed to ZNBC. Number two, they took over the Zambia National Broadcasting Service, uh, or corporation rather, ZNBC, and made an announcement on state radio that morning, that was around 6 a.m., that they had taken over the government. Uh, the government was now military run, and Captain Solo was the one in charge, and that he gave the then president, Frederick Chiluba, an ultimatum to surrender by nine hours. If he hadn't surrendered by nine hours, he was going to be killed. This is Captain Sol. We have taken over government. We will blow Chiluba out of state hours. <laughs> Number three, the Zambia military used his own deadline, nine hours, to bundle him and 54 others like bundles of joy. Take a look. The man believed to be the leader of the failed coup attempt, Captain Stephen Lungu, or Solo, was found and interrogated. 
Government troops soon rounded up around 16 others who were also arrested and questioned. Now, <laughs> they roughed him up, put him together in one piece, uh, along with four others, and they were arrested. They were charged with treason and given death sentences. But President Mwanawasa later on uh, reduced the sentence from a death sentence to a 20-year sentence because Captain Solo pleaded. And while pleading in court, he said, I don't think I was wrong. I think there truly was corruption and no one was coming up with a solution. I just did the best I could do. So his sentence was reduced from a death sentence to um, a 20-year sentence. And he served, he was arrested, or rather the guilty were only 44 of the 54. Uh, it seems the rest were only caught up in the coup. You know how the military works. You tell him to jump, he asks how high. Anyway, I don't know. I'm assuming. Number four, Chiluba's government took the liberty of also arresting Kenneth Kaunda in connection with the same case. To governments in the region, we appreciate their concern. We appreciate their concern about Dr. Kaunda, who was our leader during the liberation time. He led Zambia, and we can't take this away from him. Here, the state of uh, public uh, emergency, and this. And so I listen to my elder statesmen, and they are saying, keep him away from prison. So I called uh, an emergency cabinet meeting last night. Is it Kenneth Kaunda and Frederick Chiluba seemed to have something of a toxic relationship. And uh, because Kaunda didn't necessarily give up power willingly, uh, Chiluba only, always seemed to live with, uh, you know, his eye over his shoulder. He thought Kaunda was still coming after him and he thought Kaunda had deep seated influence. Uh, in in places that were relevant and places of power. So he was arrested, him and a few others were arrested in connection with the same, but nothing came out of it. Number five, he was later released by President Rupia Banda on a presidential pardon uh, after having served 13 years in prison and he died in the year 2012 after succumbing to tuberculosis um, when he was released from prison. So he is reported to have become a pastor after being released from prison and was being sheltered by a pastor here. And he died in 2012. So uh, Captain Solo is no more and his attempt was unsuccessful. Hey, you like what you see? Well, the real question is, why would you get to the end of something you don't like? Now that we've established you like it, hit like, comment, leave a subscription, and hit the bell. Bye.